Well, well, well. We finally get to do a video on, guess what? Week one. Week one of the NFL. Hi, everybody. I am Greg. Welcome to the Washington Football Maniacs channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell so you will never miss another video release here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. Um, not a very professional looking set, I realize. Um, but I'm working on that. I'm working on that. Uh, so this video is about week one. Washington Commanders versus Jacksonville Jaguars. Okay. So as we go to... Um, I, I just picked the fan duel... Um, website because of course you know um the odds and the betting and stuff now i'm not really into betting on sports or anything like that but you know uh usually like to go to the predictions and the uh the betting odds and stuff like that and then um i think right now uh the commanders are uh two point i think it was a two and a half uh point favorites uh, at the beginning of the week, they were they were a three point favorite. Uh, the margin kind of slimmed down a bit. I think it was because of um, Robinson, the running back, is going to play. But guess what? <laughs> not who you're thinking about. No, no, no. It's it's not our Robinson. It's the Jacksonville Jaguars running back Robinson who's going to be playing. And they said that he's actually not going to be limited in this place either. So I think that could be a reason of why the the commander's uh, predictions of victory is, is uh, shortened a little bit. But as, as we go along... As we're reading the uh, <clears throat> the FanDuel thing, um, you know they'll talk about um, the percentages uh, from ESPN, uh, number of fire, um, five thirty eight, and baiting favorite and all that stuff. Projected winner, of course, Commanders. Now they say before um, the experts, though, for the most part, are picking the Jaguars. And as a matter of fact, uh, ESPN's projected model only gives the Commanders a 38.3% chance of winning against the Jacksonville Jaguars on Sunday. Now, here's the weird thing with that. Um, the storylines is the fact that, well, you know, the game is at home in D.C., so I think that uh, that already should have, well, normally you would say that should have Washington in the favor, but we also know that in recent years, um, you know, home field advantage has not been a thing for Washington. However, I think this year, at least from what I've seen from social media and all that, uh, there has been a lot of, um, a lot of fans buying you know, home field tickets and stuff like that. Um, so I think, I think at least for week one, especially the fact that there's a new rebranding and all of this stuff, um, I think you're going to see the fans um, there. I think you're going to, I think you're going to see the seats filled more with Washington Commanders fans than you are with Jacksonville Jaguar fans. I don't think Jaguar fans really travel a lot, uh, so I think you have that, and I think if you're going to see empty seats, you're just going to see empty seats, right? You're not going to see filled seats to capacity with, you know, 50-50 fans, not like you usually do if it's the Giants in town or or especially the Packers or, or even the Steelers. Steeler fans tend to, to travel a lot as well, so... I think, you know, that that's one advantage that the Commanders probably will have is the fact that it's going to be a home game. And uh, now, you know, the Commanders, or I should say the Jaguars, uh, Jaguars, and their Jaguars, um, you know, they, they, uh, they will have good Doug Peterson. This is going to be his first game, um, regular season game as head coach for the Jacksonville Jaguars. 
that's already um, a big step up for Jacksonville um, from what they had last year, uh, which was just a train wreck. And um, so, you know, they, they have a legit Super Bowl winning head coach there. Um, that's what they have going for them. Uh, they have a pretty decent defensive line as well. Uh, I still feel like Washington has the better defensive line, even without Chase Young. I think Washington's defensive line will be much improved. Uh, I, I did see a, a video short uh, last night that was just that just bugged me because it really showed you that obviously this this gentleman pure fan speak bias, right? You know, he's talking about uh, Jaguars are going to win this game because um, the defense for the Commanders is not good. They have they were not good last year. They're not going to be good again this year because of Chase Young is out and. You know, they have Carson Wentz, so Carson Wentz is not a good quarterback. And so the Jaguars are easily going to win this game. Um, what? <laughs> um, look, we break this down. Um, you look on the offensive side of the ball. Now, one thing that is unfortunate is the fact that um, you know, obviously we're not going to have uh, Robinson starting at, at running back. Uh, we still have Antonio Gibson. I still have a lot of faith in him. Um, we've got a strong backfield. We've got wide receiver. We're loaded at wide receiver. Um, I'm not, I am not sure if Logan Thomas is going to play. He may, but he's probably going to be limited. Uh, but we do have some quality tight ends there. Our offensive line is not that bad. Our offensive line is not that bad. Um, you know, it's not full strength yet, but um, our our offensive line coach, I keep saying, he has done a great job. Um, you know, his first year, last year, I believe it was, um, or was he in 2020? Anyway, um, you know, he's, he's done a fantastic job. He's had to, to switch things around, obviously, because of, uh, you know, injuries and things like that, but I mean, he's, he's done a great job. So our offensive line is nothing to sneeze at either. Um, we're going to, we're going to have some success with moving the football up and down the field. I guarantee it. Um, having said all that, Carson Wentz is not a bad quarterback. Um, I would dare say that he's going to probably for the first time in a while, He's going to actually have some good receivers, some stout receivers to throw to. I mean, you're going to have two number ones, I feel like. Dotson is going to be a number one receiver. He's going to be 1B, 1A, possibly. We know what Terry McLaurin is capable of. There's already two guys right there, and then you got Curtis Samuel in the mix. Um, and then, not only that, you got some quality receivers and guys like cam sims who can really be a big target there in the red zone um dax millen uh, he, he's in the mix there as well so i mean we got some receivers you don't have to worry about wide receivers for the washington commanders and again yeah running back we're going to be one man down but we we're still loaded uh you know antonio gibson jd mckissick um guys like that i mean we got williams we got um, well, yeah, we got those three guys. Uh, we do have Jarrett, who we did re-sign to the practice squad. So if we have to call him up, we will. Um, but we're loaded. We're loaded there, I think, on the offense. So I, I'm not understanding the, the hate for Washington on that. I think, uh, think people are going to be surprised with how well the offense goes. The defense, yes, that's going to be the question mark there. Um, I, you know, the question mark certainly in the secondary as well. Um, you know, Cameron Curl having that surgery, he's probably not going to play. I don't know. I don't know if he's going to play at all. I, I have my doubts he's going to play um, Sunday. Um, so the secondary is going to be thin. Uh, we did sign, re-sign John Bostic um, to really stout, stouten up that uh, linebacker core. So John Bostic, he is... He's an excellent linebacker. I was thrilled to death to see John Bostic back. So you got John Bostic, 
Um, you got Jamie Davis, our second year guy. Of course, you got uh, Cole Holcomb. Suddenly, our linebackers don't look that bad. Um, and our our def- defensive line, even without uh, Chase Young, we're still okay. So I don't see anything, you know, looking at this Washington Commanders roster, it's not in bad shape. I think Ron Rivera has done an excellent job with this roster. So, you know, the predictions I have, certainly I think Washington is going to win this game. Now, I think it's going to be a tight game. I think that you're going to see a much improved Jacksonville Jaguars team from last year. Um, I think you're going to see uh, how much better a team that is well coached by a good coach and Doug Peterson. You're going to see the Jaguars come out playing a much better football than what they did. So it's going to be a tight football game. I predict that it's going to be a 20 to 17 win for the Commanders, and it could be one of those games where they come back and they win it in the fourth quarter. It seems like. That is typically a Ron Rivera type of team. They're comeback type of teams. That's that's a lot of how they were in Jack, uh, in Carolina. I've noticed. Uh, so that is my prediction, folks. Uh, Washington Commanders going to win their first game. It's going to be twenty to seventeen over the Jacksonville Jaguars. Let me know in the comments section what you think. Your predictions are, again, if you want to support this channel, please consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell. Please, if you want to support this channel in other ways, please support it by doing this.